Griffey Jr. has an extra base hit on his first at bat in the major leagues. Well, it doesn't take him long to show the big league guys that he can swing the bat here, too. And now has made the club and is going to play in center field for them. Puts that one to left field. First swing is deep. Kittle back. Goodbye, home run. Welcome back to Life is Aisha. Today we're doing another Sneaker Wednesday. Um, I think I actually want to title this What's in the Box Wednesdays or um, What I Got Wednesdays or something like that. I figure it out by the time I do my thumbnail. But um, just to differentiate a little bit between Sneaker Wednesday and Sneaker Friday. Um, today is an exciting one for me. I did not expect to even pick these up, but we're going to get into that. So um, I'm going to jump right in. We want to give a couple of history facts. So um, yeah, the sneaker review I'm doing today is for the Nike Air Griffey Max 1, which was Ken Griffey Jr.'s signature sneaker model. The colorway is the Freshwater colorway, and here's the box. Just a signature Nike box, nothing special about that. And here you go, information for sizing purposes. Um, this is a gray school size 6. The men's pair, to me, they look pretty identical. I wasn't able to really notice any difference from the gray school pair and the men's pair. Um, I'm pretty sure someone did a comparison video on here of those, but these yeah. did retail for $120. And the colors are white, black, and fresh water. Fresh water symbolizing that Seattle Mariners color, which was the baseball team that Ken Griffey was most notably known for playing for. He played for a couple other teams, but that was the one he played for the um, for a majority of his career. These first released in 1996, but they did retro in 2016, which was also the year that he was inducted into the MLB Hall of Fame. Um, so I'm actually coming on my picture that I posted, like, what was that, last week. So shameless plug, hit me up, follow me on Soul of Kicks. That's my sneaker Instagram page. You all should know that by now. But, um, and he was just like, you don't even watch baseball, yada, yada, yada. Y'all know those men that are always in women's business. But nonetheless, I'm a good sport. Um, not really easily offended by anything. So I just responded accordingly. And, you know, I really grew up in a household where um, my great grandmother, she was a huge baseball fan. No, I never really watched the full games. They were always so boring to me. Even now, if I watch like the um, World Series or anything, um in and out the games to me they just last so long they're it's not my thing um i'm a basketball girl i can watch football y'all know the super bowl really but um baseball it's just not one of those things for me but i'm really into fashion i'm really into 90s kicks the nostalgia of them so um these were a no-brainer for me and also um i love baseball jerseys i went through a little phase in high school which i probably pop up some pictures on either side of me where um i was really into just wearing baseball jerseys so i definitely feel like i need to pick up one for these so without further ado let me bring the sneaker onto the screen because you are probably like okay girl get to the point so here you go um i really am in love with this sneaker it just looks so good. I really think that even with this being a gray school pair, they didn't really cut any corners on it. The materials are all there. It just looks really nice. So um, let me just bring it in a little bit closer for you. And you all can, you know, check it out along with me. Because um, I took some pics of them, but I really honestly hadn't really looked into the shoe in deep detail. So um, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the toe box area. So it is all um, suede or I guess new book, but I think this is suede. Um, it's pretty good suede as well. It's really nice. You see the black Nike swoosh here. It's in leather. Underneath swoosh, you have an underlay of more leather. It just um, extends from the toe box all the way to the ankle of the sneaker. And I really think that's nice. Also, on um, the medial side, you do have the exact same design um it's kind of like a wave pattern here i don't know if that's symbolizing water or what but um it's you know nonetheless it's a dope design on the heel of the shoe also have another nike swoosh here it is outlined in the freshwater blue color or that mariner seattle mariner blue also on the pull tabs here you have one on the back and you also have one on the front here of the um tongue you have another nike swoosh and it's white and it 
it's outlined in red think of the tongue you do see that it is a black lacing system um you do have a couple hints of red here and also as i mentioned right here there is a strap and it just has nike like embossed on it so it's kind of in a 3d type of pattern yeah i think you can see that and it is a velcro closure here so you can undo that as you can see i'm just going to take that out and then secure it back right here you see the number 24 which was ken griffey jr's number when you pull back that strap you can see the tongue more evident to me the tongue is like a neoprene tongue i think you can see the material of it um yeah so you pull that out a little bit you pull the laces up you can see that it's a pretty snug fit like it's not going to be a sneaker that I think you should really just size down in. I went true to sizing these. Back to the insole, it is that same freshwater blue. It does have Nike Air in red, so a little bit more red. You probably can't see it, but I'm pretty sure you can see the little sticker sizing right there. But there you go. Getting down to the bottom of the sneaker, you do see these air bubbles here, and um, on the inside of them, it is the same freshwater blue as well so um yeah nice little touches nice little details i love how the bubbles are all around us you know my little research every time i see you know something that i side eye i start to look more deeply into it and what i'm referring to is the aspect of this sneaker which has never i've always loved sneaker but it's never been a, that type of sneaker to automatically sell out I remember that these set on shelves in 2016. Why I didn't grab them then, I don't know because I probably wouldn't have even gotten this pair just to be honest. But um, for whatever reason at the time I probably was looking into some other sneaker or I don't know, 2016 was a crazy year for me. But um, yeah, nonetheless I didn't get them then, I got them now in 2021. But Regardless of all of it, this this sneaker, the Griffies, are not that type of sneaker. They never sell out. They are not just really coveted like that. I was extremely shocked to not only see for myself that these were really non-existent, especially in kid sizes, but overall, I know so many guys, so many men I know in the sneaker community that not get their hands on them. My own brother, he was really trying to get his hands on them, and I've been, you know, trying to stay pressed to see when these were restocked again but um to no avail so far but it's just really interesting to me so as i was doing a little research i did see a couple of videos of people complaining about the backdooring of these if you know anything about backdooring it's basically when people go to these retail stores and they're able to walk out with multiple pairs of sneakers five to ten pairs of sneakers or more i'm normally at the back door <laughs> entrance hence the term back door but some people are just bold they walk straight out the front door with them whatever the case but um my little story about how i came across these is pretty cool um these came out in february um i can't remember but i'm pretty sure it was like a right across the valentine's day or maybe a little bit after but anyway i ended up copying my pair during the weekend where the jordan one university blue release um when i was released so if you know you know terrible terrible my experience was not good at all but anywho so yeah these restocked on nike but they sold right out once i saw that they restocked i went to the link my size is already gone so i was like you know what whatever i'm just gonna get these griffies on another day at another time i happened to see um, one of my soul sisters she posted on her stories on instagram that she had just copped a pair and i immediately was like where i responded to her but before she could even respond back to me i was already googling and stuff because when you want to know something you look it up yourself just fyi to those people that like to ask so many questions but don't want to put any work in yes i'm talking about y'all but anywho, so I put the work in, not that much work, it literally was a Google search, they popped right up. They restocked, I believe, on Hibbit Sports, Foot Locker, and Foot Action, and maybe some other foot sites, but um, in kid sizes, not man sizes, so I want to be clear about that. And I grabbed them as soon as I could. I was already figuring that I was going to take an L 
on those ones because I hadn't won any of my raffles. So yeah, I pulled the trigger on, on these and I'm so happy and pleased that I did. What's cool about it was that these shipped from Hibbert Sports in Arkansas um, from the same little small town I went to college in. So I'm like, that's the same Hibbert Sports I used to always shop at. I used to always hit the guy up that worked in there or the girl that worked in there. And they used to, you know, hold my peers for me. So it was just a really nice full circle moment. And I thought it was cool. And I figured I would share it with you all. But um, yeah, so I'm going to pull the other sneaker out and do a little 360 of these. And I'm going to let you all go. So here you go. Just the top of this sneaker, you know how I like to do. These are so dope, super dope. Can't wait to style these. Definitely gonna get a fit off in these um, during the summertime when it gets a little bit warmer outside. But um, yes, I'm really happy and pleased with these. Let me all know down in the comments below that you all grab them, were you feeling them, were you kind of like, and no, I don't want those shoes. Like, what are your thoughts on them? Also, let me give you all a shot of the sole of the sneaker. I forgot to show this when I was doing my little review portion. And I also want to show this last detail before I let you all go. It's like a little baseball here, but it's like inflamed. That's honestly one of my favorite details of the sneaker. I like the Nike swoosh detailing in the middle. And I love the top of the sneaker. It really gives me an Air Max 95 feel right there. Um, how the design and the print of it is. But, um, yeah, so that's going to bring us to an end. As always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on Friday. Thank you for watching. Bye.